Hey everybody, Mike Cipperini of Chipper's Island Adventures. And today, I'm going to install a Max Fan Deluxe version in my Integra Odyssey 24B. So the vent I'm going to replace is the one in my bedroom. As you can see, the bed is still up. I've opened up the slide because this is the unit that I'm going to replace. And what I'm going to do is take the wiring because I don't have wiring in there. I'm going to tap into this vent here, which has wiring going to it. So that's the game plan. I'm going to go from the other vent the newly installed vent, I'm going to run the wiring through a channel here and catch the wiring here. And that way there, and that way there I'll be able to power this new vent. And it's only a short run. As you can see, it's very short. It's only about two, three feet. So I don't think I'll have an issue with it. The bottom line is I, I think this is going to be fine. I think running a wire from here over to the other vent and using the power in there because this vent is going to be remote controlled. So I could sit in my dinette area and use that remote control, which maybe I'll mount over here somewhere and I'll be able to use that remote control to turn that vent on if I wish. So in order to do this, I've assembled a list of things I'm going to need. This is the unit itself. This is the remote and the batteries that go with the unit. And this is some screws and connectors that came with it. I'm also going to need some lap sealant, self-leveling, white. A drill with a Phillips head bit for now. A roll of butyl tape. A scraper to get the old die core off some wire because I'm going to have to connect it to another power source and I also have this piece of metal which is a snake that will be used to snake this wire through a channel to get to the connection that I'm going to tap into and over here we have the actual mount for the fan and the inside sleeve that goes on the ceiling inside the Integra Odyssey. So I'm up on the roof. It's pretty hot today here in Massachusetts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this old die core around the existing vent. And I'm going to use a putty knife or a painter's knife, a scraper, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be very careful doing this. And um, we'll see how it goes. I have the die core up enough that I can get the vent off. So that's what I'm going to do now. As you can see, I've already pulled up one screw just to make sure my bit works. So now I'm going to remove all the screws and then I'll pull the vent up. So, and all it is is putting that bad boy in there. There's one. Make sure it's seated. I believe I have all the screws up. So now I'm going to gently pry this up and hopefully this sucker comes up.
there it is folks one vent removed now what I'm gonna do is work on getting the rest of this butyl tape the old butyl tape off and I want to get really down there so this is gonna take a little while and what I've done is I've left this sleeve in I'm hoping it will help me um, center the new one we'll see how it works this is the new sleeve so what I've done is I went ahead and put it in with the old sleeve still intact just to make sure it fits and look at that that's a beautiful thing and I'll go ahead and make all this straight then I'll trace a line for the butyl tape and that way there when I put the sleeve on on the inside it'll fit nice and neat okay okay so as you can see I put down some butyl tape within the line that I traced around the base now I'm going to remove the adhesive backing and then put the actual sleeve that I'm going to mount with screws that's good so as you can see what I've done is I put the sleeve on the butyl tape. The butyl tape is down. What I did is I traced a line all the way around, then I put butyl tape alongside the line. Butyl tape is like tape caulking. So now this sleeve, which is the mount for the fan itself, is on top, and I've gone ahead and put all the screws in the hose so I can quickly go around it. If you'll notice, the orientation is that the screw holes for the mounting are on the sides that's the orientation so now I'm going to start screwing it down starting with the corners not sure what happened there Hold on. Let's see if I can do one here. Mm. Might have to take robos. Going to metal. So what I have to do is I have to pre-drill these holes a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple, then test it. Now we'll go ahead and try putting a couple of screws. Shabby.
it is hot up here. Okay, so one of the things I gotta do first is open the vent itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and what What I want to do, I want to make sure these flanges are seated, and they are. And then I'm going to just do a fit test. And the way this orients, the feet, the vent, the louver goes to the rear. hung up on something here so I gotta see what it is it could be the wiring okay so what I have to do is I got to take this sleeve out before I put the fan on the mount and I'm also gonna go ahead and caulk up there and I'll show you how that's done in a minute but first I'm gonna take this sleeve out from the old vent because it's actually too big it won't allow the other one to slide down So I have the vent off. What I'm going to do, you see this channel right here? I'm going to try to snake a wire through there. I believe that's where I can catch in the bathroom. I believe it is. So I'm going to do a little snaking and figure it out. So what I just did is I went around and I hand tightened all the screws with a Phillips head screwdriver because I didn't want to overdrive them with the with the drill so I went ahead and seated them properly now I'm going to clean up here and give it a caulking and then I'm going to go down below and snake in those wires okay so what I did as you can see I went ahead and snaked two wires through here a black and a white one and those wires are now coming in here and i went ahead and ran through right up here and now i've connected them to these wago clips and now i'm going to go ahead and fit the cover back over it because i it should work everything works so i'm going to go ahead and put the cover back over it yeah okay as you can see i've got it all caulked with self-leveling die core and I also put some clips on these connections, male, female, male, female. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set it on there. So as you can see, I got it set. And now we got four screws that go in the sides right along here. And then I'm done up here. So I'll go ahead and lock that down. So check that out. That bad boy's working. And now I'm going to put the sleeve in. The holes don't match up, as you can see. So I went ahead and traced a couple new holes. And I'm about to pre drill the holes because it does go into metal. And then I'm going to put the, um, put the inside trim plate on. And I'll show you after. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like all installed. And this is with the vent open. The fan isn't running right now. And you can see it's all die cord all around. Looks good. I think everything came out good. I actually might add a little bit of die core. We'll see. Well, now we have the, um, the trim plate on. As you can see, it's all nice and neat. And I'm going to show you how it works. So using the remote, I'm going to go ahead and open up the the vent itself and you can see that opens right up and now I'm going to turn on the fan and that's going at about 10% but I'm going to crank it up and 
right now that's on 80, 90, 100. So this remote works great. And what I can do is I can reverse the fan so that it's blowing air in. Right now I have it taking the, the air out. But I can reverse it so it blows the air in. And I can also operate it like this, open, if it's raining. And I can operate the fan with the cover down and use it as a ceiling fan. So I'm really liking the way this is turning out. For once I have a fan at the bed and even though one thing it's not over the head of the bed but it is something so before I close there are a couple of items that I'd like to add to the things that I needed one is a pair of wire cutters for cutting and trimming the wire uh, also some Wago clips I needed a five way I have it and a nine and sixty fourths bit drill bit in order to pre-drill the holes here so I got through it I installed the fan and I gotta tell you I've never done this before it's not that hard to do it takes a little effort I will say it was a hot day that I chose to do it and it helped out because it made the old die core softer which made it in essence easy to get off but I did it and it's in and it works and I'm happy with it so if you like this video feel free to hit that thumbs up subscribe to my channel and as I always say all the best to all and happy RVing